If you're like me, you were excited to get Chrono Cross on Steam only to be disappointed by its performance and lack of features. In the description and comments of this video, I'm going to link to this webpage, which is going to bring you to a page of Chrono Cross mods. There's a lot of great mods on this page, a lot of cool stuff you can do, but the one that we're going to focus on today is the ISA FPS hack. So I'm going to click that one right here. I'll directly link to this as well. And then I'm going to go to the files section. Now there's two files here. The easiest one is the patcher. That's the second one. All right, all you got to do is click manual download. I'm logged in. It automatically downloads. If you don't have an account here, it's going to make you sign up. This is one of the best mod sites on the internet if you don't know about Nexus Mods. So what you do with this is we're going to extract this EXE. I've already extracted it right here on my desktop. I'm going to open it up. And what it does is it opens this little uh, window, okay, asking to find your exe file. So I'm going to select that. Now, I'm already in this folder, but I want to show you the path to make sure you guys know how to get there. You need to go to where your Steam folder is installed. I have mine installed in the F drive on my computer, so I don't know where yours is installed. Usually, it might be C drive. Anyways, go to Steam, Steam Apps common and then chrono cross the radical dreamers which will take you here and then you just select this exe hit open and then you click create a backup copy of the file once it gets it loaded so that's good to have and then you click patch i've already patched my game so i'm not going to patch it again but that's it once you've done this you just boot up the game which we should do right now let's take a look i just want to show you guys how good this works it actually changes everything about the game i can't believe that we can't have a solid frame rate for this game in 2022 from the devs but so be it gotta uh, gotta love the music though gotta love the music in that menu all right here we are we're in the game i'm just going to load a save game here and you guys can see for yourselves how smooth it is I got about five hours logged in so far. I'm in the uh, Viper Manor. That's how far I got. Now, if you've played this game with vanilla settings and stuff, no mods, this is a better frame rate than what came with the game. So you can see I'm running around and it's smooth. It's very smooth. Okay, it's not choppy like the game came is on its own. Why did the game developers release this game? Nah, F you. You can't get me. You can't get me. Leave me alone. Nah. Nah, you leave me alone, dude. These guys are trying to get me. Ooh, there's a... I wanted the treasure chest! I will fight these men. You guys are going down. All right? I must fight these guys. They stopped me from getting my treasure. And we can get some battle footage. So, it's uh, smooth, smoother in battle as well, uh, as far as my experience is. And I think there's going to be updates to this mod over time so you can keep an eye on it and get the newer versions repatch the game with the more refined versions and stuff but for now uh the gameplay is smooth on my end i i see this as good enough i could play through the whole game with it like this but if they can make it even better then so be it i'm also going to take a look at some of those other mods some of them are like reskinning the characters and stuff making them look even better or um there's AI upscaled backgrounds that come with the game by default, but they're kind of bad. And someone took a lot more time and effort and made them even better. So there's one of those, but it's in an alpha, so I'm going to wait. That one just came out yesterday. There we go. That's what those guards get, dude. They're trying to mess with me. Stop me from getting my treasure, dude. They don't stop me from getting my treasure. I got my ointment. Hey guys, thank you very much for tuning in and watching to the very end of the video. Hope I was able to help you guys solve your Chrono Cross problem to make it more bearable to play. Over time, a lot of the mods that people have come up with for the emulation version of this game will be converted over, plus more since there's a lot of new life breathed into this game. So keep an eye out for all the different stuff you can do to improve your experience of Chrono Cross. Enjoy your gameplay, guys. This game's a classic, and I'll see you next time.